guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm trying to pre-record some things because next week is going to be a hectic week. So I just finished filming a tutorial with this eye look right here. I just thought I'd sit down and share some random favorites of mine. It's completely random. It's not going to be a monthly favorites. I can never keep up with those. Because basically I use the same things over and over. Especially if I'm going to work, I just use the same products because I know what works together and what look I want to do. So it's like, boom out the door. So if I get a new product, that's when I'm like... Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, five makeup related products and then the rest aren't makeup products. <laughs> so I don't know if I should do that first. Let's do makeup related items first just to get them out of the way. But right now I am currently loving Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. It runs for like 20 bucks but I know you can get it on Amazon or eBay for like 8 bucks or whatnot. I got mine for 10 because before I left to Mexico The Balm was having a 50% off the entire website sale so i got it a little bit cheaper it's currently the bronzer that i'm wearing on my face right now i love the fact that it's not super cool to the point where it looks muddy or like super orange and pumpkin like but it's an in-betweener i like the sleek packaging because i can travel with this it has a really nice small mirror i don't hear a lot of talk about this bronzer i always hear about Too Faced and benefit bronzers but this bronzer from the balm is a lifesaver i love this one it's actually it's replaced my favorite powder that I like to use for bronzer and if you guys watch my videos this is the powder if you guys watch my videos you know I use this religiously I am always using this you can see they're not similar but these blend nicely on the skin and it feels really really smooth I like this for all year round especially because like I said it's not too orange and not too cool if I don't want to look dead in the winter I'm totally going to be grabbing this because it is that neutral color where I won't look like damn girl I know you're using bronzer but that is one of my favorites another favorite of mine it is the graveyard swamp queen tart palette I haven't made a tutorial on this I'm still debating if I should or should not because it's limited edition not everybody is going to be able to buy it so I don't know if you guys want to see a tutorial using this palette just leave me a comment down below i love the fact that it has a huge mirror i don't want to blind you guys but oh i can't blind you guys hopefully it has a humongous mirror and that's the thing that i love about tarte palettes is that they have large mirrors this is like the best travel companion because it has a bronzer a blush and a highlighter and eyeshadow so this is the perfect travel type palette for me at least my favorite color of them all is called dog man it's like a terracotta red which is actually one of my favorite shades to wear on my eyes i don't know why i'm just obsessed with that color and a lot of them have glitter in it like literally like specks of glitter which fly off with the highlight is very chunky and very glittery but the thing is but when I put it on my face, the chunks like swipe away. It's weird and it leaves like this really nice, pretty, highlighty glow. I use this mostly on my eyes versus my cheeks. I have a lot of texture on my face right now, so I use it as eyeshadow more than anything. Just for like the inner corners and the brow highlight. But other than that, I love these colors. The top three actually remind me of the Tartlet palette, which are different purples that I never really go towards unless I'm doing like a purple smoky eye but for every day these shades are up my alley if you see this palette go ahead and grab it you won't be sorry I promise especially because it's also a collab with a youtuber her name is bunny and she's under graveyard girl here on youtube and she has like 7 million subscribers the thing that I love the most about her channel is that she has this segment called does this does this thing really work and that's actually what the blush is called and she tries out like tv products like, I think she tried out this split end type thing that cuts off your split ends. Very ballsy. I would never do that because I'm trying to grow out my hair again. But she used it and she reviewed it. If you guys haven't checked her out, like, totally check her out. The next thing is this mascara. I don't open mascaras until I finish another one because they dry out so much and then I'm like shit out of luck without mascara. The one that I'm using right now I got from Big Lots. They have a lot of inexpensive mascaras but they're well-known brands. Like this one right here that I have is from CoverGirl. It's the Star Wars The Force Awakens the Super Sizer Mascara. And I have mine in the shade Very Black. I only paid $3 for this. The wand on this mascara. It's very spaced out. I don't know if you guys see it. It's very spaced out, so it spaces out my lashes. It's also good for my lower lashes. The fact that I can use them on both is what 
I'm obsessed with right now and the formula dries really quick but I'm not the type of person to coat on like multiple layers of mascara because I don't want that spidery look or whatever but this mascara doesn't do that I love this one I've never tried a covergirl mascara and now that I have this one has me impressed so hopefully I'll buy another one when this runs out and the next one is the modern renaissance palette I finally caved and got it and I am obsessed with it and I love coming up with new looks with this palette and I'm sure you guys have already heard about this palette. Personally, I think it is the most raved about palette on YouTube and I love the fact that it's become a permanent palette from what I've heard. So once this runs out, I mean I can go grab another one because at the rate that I'm using it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out soon. I go more into depth about why I like it and all that other stuff on my video. If this video isn't the first one that I decide to post up, this is talked about and you'll hear about it. Trust me. So the last beauty product whoop, I have been obsessing. When it comes to highlighters, I am obsessed with the Balm's Mary Luminizer and Too Faced's Candlelight Duo. I know I'm kind of late on this, but, but the fact that Anastasia came out with in that glow, which have the colors Sunburst, Golden Bronze, Bubbly, and Dripping Gold. This is my new favorite, specifically this one, which is Sunburst. I have been using this one non-stop. It's very neutral. It doesn't mimic the Mary Luminizer, but it is close to it. It has more yellow in this one, which is funny because I have the three highlighters from the Balm, which is kind of like the yellow, the bronze one, and the more like pinky toned one. And this reminds me of it, but this formula has a different texture to it. I feel like this one's a little bit more chunky, more glittery. I have been grabbing this literally every day. I have my other ones stacked away and I find this is more convenient because it has four of them already. So I'm just like, hmm, which one do I want to use today? Which of the four do I want to use today? Instead of like rummaging through my stuff and having to grab a certain one. Gorgeous. I don't have the other ones. I There's actually more in the collection that I want to get. I just got to save up a little bit more. College is coming up, so I got to buy books and all that junk. But after that, I am good to go. I'm getting another one. Next favorite of mine is a perfume that I have been obsessed with since I sampled it. <laughs> but the thing was, it was super pricey and I was just like, I ain't down with that price. But the perfume that I'm talking about is the Bella Vince Camuto? 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 I hope I'm saying it right. Camuto? Camuto? Vince Camuto? I think? I don't know. But is the Bella one, I got a sample of it at Ulta and I literally sprayed all the test strips that I can grab and I put them in my purse and I kept some in my purse, I put some in my closet on my clothes so my clothes would smell like it. That's how much I liked this perfume. The thing that stopped me was the price. It runs for like 85 bucks and this is the large size. But I don't use perfumes that often. I only use them for special occasions and the only reason I got this was it was a birthday gift from my mom and my brother. And mine came with a little roller that I can take with me and then it came with like a big old tote bag. You know how when you buy perfumes they give you like a tote bag? And I have one of those. But I mean, I I have the original one from Vince Camuto, the one that just says Vince Camuto. Dude, I'm saying it wrong. But the one I had was just the original one and I fell in love with that one. And that one I had the small little one that I got from TJ Maxx. It was like, I want to say 12 bucks. So when I smelled that one, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then when I found out they came out with this one, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, uh, I think it smells, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like something, let me look up what the scent is. It says it smells like, let's see, what? So it's peach, nectar, pear, lemon ice, strawberry flower, nectarine blossoms, jasmine water, solar musk, white amber, sandalwood, blonde woods, caramel caramelized why can't i say that word caramelized wood yeah i wouldn't be able to explain any of that if i was just like like it smells like flowers to me but for the most part i usually get my perfumes for my birthday or anything expensive i usually get for my birthday or christmas or an anniversary because i ain't down to drop 85 bucks but if you have 85 bucks to spare and you love perfumes and you're a perfume collector this is definitely one that you need Trust me. Our sunglasses from Key. I know a lot of people say Quay, but I heard it's called, it's pronounced Key. So I don't know, Key, Quay, whichever it is. It's the collab with Crispy. 
I got these for my birthday actually and they are called Gemini. If you guys know, I'm a Gemini. So anything with Gemini on it, I'm on it. So these are the rose gold ones. I am fairly obsessed with them. But when I saw these, I was like, I need them. I have been on a rose gold obsession lately that I was just like, I need rose gold sunglasses. I know they're limited edition, but I think White Fox Boutique still has them in stock. If they do, I'll link them down below, but these are one of my favorites. I know they're in black as well, but I already have so many black sunglasses that I was just like, mm, I need the rose gold. Um... The next thing is actually a game. It's a card game. It's called Utter Nonsense. And me and Vince were actually at Target and we were looking at different games to play. I bought Pie in the Face because I thought it would be funny, but nobody wants to play it because nobody wants to mess up their face. I don't know. It's dumb. I think it's fun. But anyways, we got this one. And what it is is basically, it's kind of like apples to apples picks. Someone's like the leader or someone gets to pick which is the funniest. But the thing about this one is that you get um, accents. There is like accents on each of the cards and people get a phrase that they have to say in that accent. Whoever's the funniest or whoever did the best gets the card. So the last thing that is my favorite, I know we are still in summer, but where I work is Kirkland's. And it's a home decor store if you guys don't know what kirkland's is it's kind of like pure one but a little bit less expensive and right now we have all our fall stuff out all our harvest decor all our halloween and i'm just like oh my gosh like vanessa try not to buy anything don't do it don't do it but i got myself a pumpkin and it's a monogram pumpkin V's are hard to find. Me and Vince, obviously, we're V's. So that's the letter that I always look for the most because it's easier than that way. I'm not married, so I don't want to do last names. And luckily enough, me and him have a V. So I got this pumpkin. It's just a ceramic V pumpkin. And I love the font. I love the black decor on it. And it retails for $29.99. It's pretty huge. I want to put it either in the entrance of our home or just somewhere around the house. Fall is literally my favorite favorite season i hate summer because it's so hot winter is way too cold for me and spring is just i don't know i just don't really care for spring honestly but fall oh my gosh i'm not those people that like pumpkin lattes and stuff like that i like the smell of pumpkin like pumpkin spice that we have at work or little sachets oh my gosh dude i need it i need to get some of those this pumpkin is my favorite thing out of my whole house right now this is literally my favorite thing. So if you go to Kirkland's or if you live by a Kirkland's or if you want to shop online, totally do it. Online has literally the entire alphabet. At work when this came in, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a V. Like, I need to buy this today. So when I saw that pumpkin with the V, I copped on it real quick. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to make it too long. I was going to do my favorite songs, but I'd be sitting here all day because some songs bring up old memories and then I start like piling songs onto songs onto songs. So I decided to keep it simple. I hope you guys like this random ass favorites video.